Good day, good morning, good evening, depending on where you're located. Uh, welcome to the Art of the Name. Um, as usual, I'll be your host, Adam Dicker, and we're going to run through a whole bunch of really cool and interesting domain names that are both available in the drops tomorrow and available to register today. Let's give it a bit of time as people start to filter in. I can see them coming in now. Um, this was one of those shows where anything that could go wrong did go wrong as I was setting up. I had to um, reinstall an update in my camera and then it insisted on me having a background. So there's lots of uh, cool things. Needless to say, we are lost in space at the moment, but happy to be here. So again, welcome to the art of the name. I'll just give it a couple more minutes and then we're going to start. Let's look at some of the comments as people come in. Um, hi, I like the background. Uh, that's good. I got some other cool ones I was playing with. Unfortunately, it installed uh, premium software and I was uh, able to play with all kinds of backgrounds. So we'll see if we change them as we go. Um, it's space. Hey, Melanie. Joe, good to see you. So um, it was a little hard to get uh, motivated to do today's broadcast because we just finished the master class two days ago. And um, hey, Joe, thanks. Uh, good night. It's midnight here, so I can't stay up long. Oh, don't worry, it'll be good. Hey, Mark, Scott, everybody's here. So we just finished Bill. We just finished the master class on Monday, and I can tell you it was a heck of an event. Uh, we had about 33 people uh, come to the event. It started at 9 a.m. on Monday morning, and somehow, miraculously, I don't know how it ended at exactly 5 p.m. Um, I thought I was going to run way over on content. I don't know how people sat still for so long. We took a few breaks, but it was an incredible group of people, and I'm very thankful that they took the time uh, out of their schedule to join me on Monday. Um, what's really interesting about today's uh, drops, um, actually today's available names, is that a lot of the names that were reviewed in the class on Monday as drops for the next day are now available today. So when I got to, went to go through the list, it was pretty interesting to see some of the names that we spent pretty much a whole day talking about and reviewing uh, on today's uh, available list. So that'll be fun to go through. I've also got some surprises for the people in the master class. Um, it's pretty good. We've got our own Facebook a group for it. Um, and we're going to be doing some group projects. I've spoken to a couple of people. One of the things we're going to do is we're going to design a couple of businesses with the people in the master class, and they are going to get to share in the revenue from that business. Uh, so I think that's going to be great. And uh, it was Paul and David who suggested that, and I thought it was a really good idea. So thanks, guys. Um, we're going to do a lot of cool stuff with stuff like that. So I think it's a good idea, and it's a good way to give back and show that we that I intend to work with you guys long term. And I intend to build uh, at least one or two businesses that uh, we can all profit from the, from the people that are in the master class. And still people can uh, join and uh, still come in if you're interested into the master class. We've got 33 people. We're only going to allow seven more, and then that's it. And then what I think we're going to do is we're going to sell the seats. So as the businesses start to make more money, those seats will be worth more money. And then we won't have more people in the class, and we'll just go from there. So I think that's going to be a pretty fun business model if we take a website and we build a, a real good brand out together and we build it as a business, I think it's going to be really cool because everyone's going to profit. Originally, I was thinking about letting people in the group and then maybe uh, say we charge whatever we charge, a couple hundred dollars from each referral would go back to the members um, so that you guys could get your money back from the course and do it that way. But then I think this is better if we actually build a sustainable business and it makes revenue every month. So that's something we're going to look at doing. And again, I uh, appreciate uh, Paul and David for coming up with that suggestion. Also bounce it off Melanie. Bunch of good stuff. So let's take a look before Ian falls asleep. We have a lot of good stuff to get to, Scott, Bill. Um, eventually, I'll be able to join the master class. Yep. I uh, love it. Shared business model. It's going to be a shared business model, but it's going to be a lot of fun because we may do a lot of other cool stuff together, and we're going to build some businesses. Hey, Dwayne. Mark, good to see you again. I hope you guys all got rested up because I'm going to tell you it was a really long domain name. Uh, I bought your course maybe 15 years ago. Well, good to see you back, Lear, and I remember the name. Um, this is a different course. We just ran it on Monday, and it was a hell of a course, I'll tell you. It was a long day, and we spent uh, – so the video is done. Uh, the raw footage is uploaded for people who took the course. It was seven and a half hours of me talking. 
Uh, my wife can't take more than 10 minutes, but somehow you guys sat through seven and a half hours. I've hired somebody to take the slide presentation and make it professional and professional looking. So that'll be updated in the next couple of days, but you have the current slide presentation to look at. Also, the video is gonna be uh, professionally edited and sliced up into sections so the people in the group can watch whatever parts they want. The video from the seven and a half hour session will only be available to the masterclass members. If you do wanna get in the masterclass, message me on um, Facebook. We're only allowing seven more people in period. Okay, so I think we're gonna get going to the good stuff. We have a lot of stuff to cover today as far as good dropping names tomorrow and then good available names that are already available for fresh registration today. So anybody has any questions, go ahead and ask. I'm gonna have a sip of coffee before we go on to the drop list. No questions. Okay, for those of you that don't know how to find us, we are at uh, The Art of the Name, facebook.com slash group slash The Art of the Name. That's where you can add to us. We have about 560 people growing strong private Facebook group, which means we don't have any garbage posts about what does my name look like, this name, is this a good name, is this, and it's all that 10625nnn4.info or stuff like that. So there's no garbage posts, it's all fresh and it's all about topics that you guys want to know and learn about. I take pride in that, so we'll have a, a really good group. All right, without further ado, let's switch over to uh, a large list of domain names that are dropping tomorrow, um, and let's go through them all. And it has, as usual, the traffic per month. So let's go. Uh, let's make sure I'm sharing the right window. We'll find out in a second. Um, boom. Uh, is that the one we want? Let's see. That is, yeah, that's the drops. OK, so I'm just moving over to my window. You guys should be able to see it all. Uh, you don't have to look at me, so that's good. So let's start. We have a large list to go through, so I'm going to go through it. Rather quickly, uh, this list is also available for anybody that's in the art of the name in the shared folder. So I'll upload it there right after this. And then uh, for Robert and everybody else, I'll make sure that when you click the button here, it will import the updated list so you'll have them all. So let's look at what we have. Uh, Ottawa Reflexology, good city, good name, good uh, service, 296 people a month. A lot of dash cams in here for truckers. So truckers dash camera 303. Wisconsin Countertops is okay, good name. Buddhist Massage, decent name. Restorative Company, if you want cupboards or, or anything restored. Cleansing Bodies, mm, not sure I like that one, but it's okay. Sanitized Towel, uh, 2,700. Uh, this one, I don't know how it got in there. We'll get rid of it. Um, butterfly Towels, 3,500 people a month look for butterfly towels. Trucker Camera, again with the camera. Uh, Des Moines Wedding Planner, it's got 4,400, but it's too long, so I'm getting rid of it. Uh, adult implant. This could be for anything. It doesn't have to be just for uh, for boobs or knees or whatever it is. Um, could be anything. It's a pretty decent domain name. 4,800 people look for it. Uh, botdetector.com. Pretty decent name. New York ophthalmologist. 55, 5,300. Jimmy Evan. Popular name if you're looking for names that sell. This one I left in here. Seeds Funding. This is not a good name. The S makes it uh, totally different. Seeds Funding versus Seed Funding. Uh, seed funding would be a better name. Stomping the grapes, uh, I guess it's good for a wine company. Sunburn reliever, I before E, it's perfect. Uh, dry vaginas, a real problem uh, for menopause, and it's a real thing, and it's got a ton of traffic. Great to put some sort of a, a cure or something on there for that. Waist high leggings, uh, good name, product. Restored thinking, interesting, I don't know what I'd do with it. Pallet shippers is uh, more uh, direct. A trucker dash cam, interesting. Graduates gifts, don't like the S, but still okay. Las Vegas guitar, uh, so so, 16,000 people a month look for it. Pro profile pictures, this is one I like. People need professional profile pictures uh, for LinkedIn and for a lot of other sites. So this could be a huge business on its own. You could take pictures that they had and crop them, fix them, do whatever you want. A lot of people don't know how to do it and they can upload things to you. Peach bombs, 17,700 people type it in a month. Peach bombs is good because it's like bath bombs, and I'm pretty sure that's what was meant by that. Dog clothing sells really well. Online horses clothing, I'm sure would sell well. I don't know if I'd like the S or without the S. Boulder Climb is a really good name. I like that one, 24,000 uh, people a month. Why I like it is it could be like a climbing wall or it could be something in Boulder, Colorado. So it's got a couple of different advantages. Mortgage rates fixed, 
good name. I'd prefer fixed mortgage rates, but it still has 26,000 people looking for it. Uh, Brandon Chandler, another popular name. Phone Mounter is obviously a product you can put in your car. Jacob Hiller, another name. Pup Pool, a little tiny pool meant for dogs uh, that has like, who knows, special feet on it so they don't slip. I'm not sure, but it's a good name. Desktop builds. For those of you in IT know that anytime you get a computer from IT, it has a desktop build on it or a laptop build on it. Postcards for printing, good name, 33,000 people. Um, online air conditioners, I'm not sure about this one. I left this one in as a no, because most people will not want an online air conditioner, they'll want an air conditioner. Sequence mask, 36,000, uh, three, yeah, 36,000. Currency markets, obviously decent, but you have to build something there. Mark Pringle, a really good domain name. Exam portals, not bad if you wanna put sample tests and things like that. Body slings for anything that's uh, an arm or a leg that's broken, you need to do. Ankle supporter, obviously a good domain name, 51,000. Fearing failure, now this would be a really good name for a inspirational um, site on how to avoid failure and for people who have anxiety about feeling, fearing failure, be a good one. Clothing inspirations, I thought this was a great brand name at 61,000. Um, Neurologic care, also a good name. Gold candies, it's got traffic, but I thought maybe if you want the best candies, you want gold candies and it's a good name for a brand. Transfer money services, a lot like Western Union, very popular. Pink lotions, it's a good name for a brandable, could be hand cream, could be anything, uh, foot lotion, anything. Clearance floor, this is a good name for somebody who wants to do a, uh, a sale or something like that online. Not a bad name, everyone knows what a clearance floor is. Feel free to let me know, by the way, if you like any of these names, it just motivates me to keep going. Implantable contact lens, there's a couple with contact lenses here, that's interesting. Packaged beer, good name, 91,800. Network troubleshoot, Great for a business, 95,000. Neon open signs. I looked at it and I thought, well, neon signs would be better, but everybody has a neon open sign pretty much. So I thought you could sell all kinds of open signs in any different language and build a business on it with something like that and one product. Edward Thornton, good name, lots of traffic, as you can see, 108,000. Interview screening, great name now that everybody's back to work and getting interviews. I really like that one. Uh, it's not bad. Entry rugs, uh, if you have them for the front of your house, great. Cell refrigerator, 120,000. Brown lashes, 139,000. Freestanding mirrors, 154,000. Extendable arms, a lot of people have those for their monitors. And then to go along with packaged beer, you can have packaged liquor, 169,000. It's a pretty good name if you wanna do a liquor delivery service. Broker's commission, this could be for anything. Uh, auction order, also a pretty decent name. Unisex bike, 238,000 people Google unisex bite. Uh, bike, not bite, they don't bite people. Bet Premier League, um, Premier League soccer is big. Uh, casinos are big. This is a pretty good name to use as a casino affiliate. Texas Power Plant, I don't know what to do with it. I put it here to tell you not to buy names like this because there's not much you can do with a name like that. Text guides, pretty good name. You could do guides for pretty much anything. I like that. This is one of my favorites because I do a lot of marketing, branding assets, and I spend a lot of time branding assets for companies. So I think that's a really good domain name with 307,000 people looking at it every month. Network security firewall speaks for itself, 334,000. Primary beneficiaries, obviously good for wills and everything else. Lots of good uses for that name. Uh, door opening tool. Well, if you're stuck and you're locked outside, it could be a single, single one item tool that you have developed for people that get locked out of their house or their car or wherever they are. Uh, this one, accept invitation. Now I thought this would be good for an online invitation service. Lots of weddings and all kinds of things are going with online invitations rather than the mail out ones. Not bad, 393,000 people a month think so. Dog doorstop. I guess you have those little dog doors. You have doorstops to let your dog in and out. A lot of people Google it. I don't really know what it is. I'll have to Google it later. Deep washer, this could be for like a power wash type company. Pretty good name. Small toolkit, 498,000. Could be a brandable toolkit that you put in your car, anything like that. Quarterly payments, also good. Anybody has something they want to spit up into quarterly payments, they don't know how to do it. Well, you can have a site that does it. Decent information. Bluetooth speaker box. You could build custom speaker boxes for obviously Bluetooth speakers. 614,000 people look for it. 
Cell Retailer, a uh, really decent name, uh, obviously to sell cell phones, mobile phones. I'm not sure they're called cells anymore. I think most places are called mobiles, but who knows? And then as we get to our upcoming trends and what's gonna be hot in 2022 later, one of the things is artificial intelligence. So who wouldn't want AI for business? 726,000 people think it's good. Interview format, if you wanna have some sample interviews or find out different types of interview format styles, you could see that there. 796,000. Large handbags, well, who doesn't uh, like a large handbag? Um, well, not me, but a lot of people do. And the larger, the better, because you can carry your whole house with it. Speaking of houses, house ornament at a, a million people look for house ornaments. So that one's pretty big, pretty interesting. You can see we're getting into some of the more popular one. Avocado salad recipe, 1.4 million people looking for that. A lot of hungry people. Toy for babies. So this is a good example, and I left it in, where toy for babies or toys for babies both work here as a singular or a plural. 3.6 million people look for a toy for babies. So you want to look at that. Reappointing, a single word, 4.7 million people. I don't know what I would do with it, but it's got a lot of traffic and it's got a lot of people looking for it. Okay, Juan Domingo, 4.9 million people Google this name and want it. So this is definitely a name you want to go over if you can get it. Um, if you want your first name, last name, Juan Domingo is one of the best ones. Um, I believe it actually has a CPC of over $200. So you really want to get that. Agency for business could be anything. Um, it's not a bad name. 8 million people look for it. Sobrieties. Uh, 26 million people look for sobriety, so that's quite a few. And then the last one we have is Midwifed, M-I-D-W-I-F-E-D. -E I don't know what you would do with that, but lots of people look for Midwifed. So I have to look at some of the really good ones in the top bunch. I'd go with Toys for Babies. I'd go with Large Handbags because it's a really popular thing. I would definitely go for backordering AI for Business. Um, there's a couple other ones. Small Toolkit as a product, I'd go for that. Um, deep washer isn't bad as a product um, and network security firewall is good branding assets i'm definitely going to back order unisex bike isn't bad either there's a lot of really good things in here um, that people could be interested in so i hope that list was enjoyable to you please post which names you like i'll look at the comments and then we'll talk about something else and then we're going to go to the list that you really want is what you can actually look at and register today right now and it's amazing again we reviewed all these names uh, with the group before. So I'm gonna say it's kind of funny that on Monday we reviewed these names as they were gonna be dropping the next day. And today we're reviewing those same names as they're already dropped and a lot of them are available. So I'm guessing maybe I went through that list a little bit too late in the masterclass and you guys were all really tired and probably just went to bed afterwards. I know I had a good stiff drink after seven and a half hours of talking and then just relaxed. So. Let's see if you guys have any questions. Let me export this list so I can uh, post it for you guys and I'll put it in the, uh, the group. All right, I have it exported. So now I can close the tool and we can go to the next thing. Any, oh, there's lots of comments. Let's see, um, where are we? Uh, when someone asks how much and you give them your asking price, then went too deep with no response, what would you do in that case? Well, the first thing I'd say was, uh, do we have some sort of a problem here? Is uh, the price uh, too high for you or do you not see the value in the domain name? But I wouldn't just leave it and let them leave it as dead air. You need to uh, re-engage. Um, Amazona, hello. Ian, yes, I have uh, a buddy of mine who is a friend of mine. will set up the Mac version for you on your computer and it's gonna be done this week. It's ready to go. Um, I'll have him reach out to you. His name is Chuck. Um, hmm, a lot of these are already registered. Mark, all of those are registered. Those are names that are dropping tomorrow. These are not available names. Um, ah, these are for tomorrow. Yes, that happens to all of us, Mark. Don't worry. Um, when will they be dropping? They are dropping tomorrow at about 3 p.m. So anytime after that. So you can put them in before as a back order, and then if you get them, you get them. If you decide you don't want to back order it, you'd rather pay less, then you can go ahead and uh, try to register whatever's available after three o'clock from names that people didn't back order. The uh, best places to get them are dropcatch, dropcatch.com and save.com. Uh, you should be able to get that. 
Facebook user, where can I get the tool you're using? All right, I'll post it in the in the uh, search bar. It's called the expired domain search tool. I created it for myself. wasn't meant for sale, and then I decided to sell about 10 to 15 copies. It's the expired domain search tool, one-time lifetime price. It's about 500 less the, the price on the page is Canadian, so don't get alarmed if it says 600. Uh, it's the best tool out there for finding and backordering names. There's lots more it can do. Watch the site. There's a video on there, and it'll tell you exactly what you can do with it and how it works. Anybody, anybody have any more questions? Um, I was asked on the master course call if I would do some uh, personal consulting. Yes, I will. Just reach out through Facebook, and I'm happy to do that. If you're trying to figure out what's good in your portfolio and what's crap, I will tell you directly if something is no good, and we'll figure out what you need to keep, what you need to drop, and what you need to sell. Uh, you should probably add me on uh, Facebook. Uh, you should probably add me on LinkedIn if you want. Uh, I'm happy to share contacts. There's a lot of contacts that I have that you can probably use. Um, and if you do add me uh, somewhere, just put AOTN, which means art of the name, because I get, I have, let's see, about 800 open requests from people on Facebook, and I don't know who the heck they are, so I'm not adding them. Most of them I just have one friend in common with, which is ridiculous. Okay. Let's go to questions. Did you integrate the SEM Rush backlinks into the tool? It's being integrated now. It won't be ready till next week. There's a couple other features being integrated that people asked for in the master class. One was the ability to add uh, single domains or a few domains at once without having to load a list. And there are a couple other features that they asked about. It'll be released next week. And again, all upgrades free. Okay, I'm not going to go on, and uh, if anybody has any questions, feel free to ask. Otherwise, I'm going to go on to the part that you guys really like, which is the available domain names. Last call for questions before we go to the available domain names. Or should I make you wait and talk about something else? Yeah, let's talk about the main topic first. That way I know you guys will stay awake. Um, some of the upcoming trends, this is one of the things that I want to prepare you guys for in uh, 2022, you need to stay ahead of what's coming out and what's trending in every country. So make sure you tap into what's popular and you start to look at domains in these areas. And uh, a lot of IoT stuff will be popular, uh, more popular in uh, 2022. Um, so keep an eye on some of that stuff. Robotics is going to increase. There's going to be a lot more adaption of uh, robotics. So you want to keep uh, an eye on that stuff. We already mentioned in the AI stuff that artificial intelligence and cognitive transformation is going to be trending in 2022. Uh, analytics is going to be huge, augmented analytics. Take a look at that. You'll find all kinds of domains around that. Any kind of immersive technology is going to be popular. Um, immersive technology has a lot to do with uh, virtual reality and augmented reality and mixed reality uh, with communication software, so you want to pay attention to that. Uh, API-driven productivity tools are going to go through the roof. Uh, APIs, uh, development on SaaS markets are going to go up. So you want to pay attention to that and grab some of those. I mean, 83% of, of enterprises right now integrate uh, software as a crucial business strategy, which means your API-driven productivity is going to go up. Uh, smart space trends are also going to be a big thing. Uh, it's a future technology. Smart space is uh, widely used across businesses. Uh, it provides digital environments for people uh, and systems and apps. They interact seamlessly. Um, so you want to take advantage of looking at what smart space trends are. Probably nobody's registered any domains in that space yet. Good chance for you to do it. Chatbots. Obviously, things like Drift have changed the way websites handle customer service. Pay attention to chatbots and the trends are going to come up in 2022 with chatbots. 75 to 90% of all queries on healthcare and banking websites are handled by chatbots right now. So you definitely want to pay attention to that. Uh, blockchain, we already know is a big thing. Uh, the blockchain market is going to continue to grow. In 2018, it was uh, about 1.2 uh, million. Uh, now in 2019, it went to 2.2. 2 2020, it was 7 billion. And this year, it's going to be up to 12.7 billion in 2022. It's only 7 billion now, so you know it's going to grow. And by 2025, you're looking at 40 billion uh, US dollars spent in uh, blockchain. So keep an eye on that. Also, a new thing that you may want to look at is something called digital twins, which is uh, a fascinating technology where trends already transforming a number of businesses into the coming years, they've got what they've got is functional 
virtual models of specific products. So that's something that's really important. It's called digital twins. So take a look at that. 70% of manufacturers in 2022 will be using digital twins. So grab some domains on that. Uh, that's most of the good stuff um, that you're going to need to know about. Um, just checking to see if there's any other facts I need to give you about anything. Uh, augmented analytics, 74% of businesses will invest in augmented analytics. So check those out and grab them up in your local CCTLDs. Um, 2.7 million industries uh, will use industrial robots uh, in businesses. So you want to make sure you're on top of that as well. That covers a lot of the trends in the AI and the AR and VR stuff that we're going to see coming up. Um, and you always want to stay on the trends. So Google things like health trends, technology trends, uh, anything that you can and get on lists so you have the most latest up-to-date stuff um, out there. Ian, good to see you're still awake. We're going to switch over to the uh, available shortly. I think a chatbot tried to chat me up earlier. His face profile responded very quickly and said yes to a question. I get chatted up by crazy people all the time that add me and then ask if I need a VA or something else or they want a date. I don't know what they're looking for, but they should really read profiles. Half of them add you and they say, well, what do you do? And it's on your profile. Anyway, that's what you need to keep up with in technology for 2022. Um, somebody said the live video interrupted. Well, the replay won't. And if it hasn't interrupted uh, now, we're good. We're going to switch over to what domains are available. You guys are going to start typing. As usual, all you need to do is tell me what you got because uh, I'm curious and I'm happy that you got them. I will tell you that I almost pulled some off myself because uh, there are some really good ones in there. So I'm going to go through this list with you. But there were some domains here that I thought, hmm, I think I should take these before I give them to them. So. Here we go, get your, get your stuff ready. Uh, Dwayne says it's working perfectly on YouTube. So if you're having trouble, go to YouTube. Otherwise, let's look at what is available right now. Promote the business. I like it because it's a good name. Uh, promote the business is what people do. Best video conference, good for a view site. Not really that into that one. Extraction data, if you wanna get an extraction tool and extract lists for people, it's a good domain name. Uninsured motorist coverage, just a decent name for a uh, website for um, insurance. Bank and credit card, you could set up a site for all the banking credit cards and offer, you, there's a lot of affiliates for bank cards where they apply and you get paid. Contacts tracer, if you're looking for a contact and somebody else is looking for a contact and they want you to find them, that's what a tracer is. For those of you who don't know what a skip tracer is, that's a bill collector. You don't want any of them calling you, but a contact tracer sounds like a pretty good one. Even with contacts tracer here, it's okay with the S because you're looking for contacts. Customized promo products, 1710. And remember, we're going to find some stuff in here that we actually went over as dropping the next day from the course. And some of you didn't pick them up and they're available here. And I'm quite surprised about it. So customized promo products, that's not one of them, but it's a good one. Implanted contact lenses, 2100. Gamer seating, really good domain. Somebody should go out and register that right now. There are all kinds of chairs and seats for gamers. It's a good one and they sell for a lot of money. Host any that you get, please. Traveling massage therapist, long uh, name, but it makes sense because if you're a traveling massage therapist, that's exactly what you do, 3,400 people a month. Internet discoveries. This is a really cool name if you want to do all kinds of uh, a site with full information on all kinds of discoveries. I mean, there's lots you could do, and it's a really good name for a content site. Gourmet's foods. Uh, gourmet foods would have been my uh, first choice. Gourmet's foods could mean the food from many gourmets. Deco bulbs, 6640. I don't know if Deco's a trademark or not. If it's a company, don't get it. Customized face shields. You definitely want to grab this one. There was, this was in the master class group. So when I saw some of these, I chuckled that some of you didn't grab them. Customizefaceshields.com. Uh, in Canada and the US, everyone's going to be forced to wear face shields when they go back to school. So you want something like that. Safe walkers is a uh, type of walker, like a rollator or a walker, where um, it's safer for seniors or something like that. Extra breaks. You can take a look at that one. Nottingham Apartment, this one I remember because I love the movie Notting Hill. So I know we went over this, 8,700 people a month look for a Nottingham Apartment. Immunity Booster Shot, this is something we all may need eventually, an immunity booster shot, or at least everybody that got the vaccine. Implanted Lenses, this is a pretty good name for, uh, for surgery, for eye surgery. 
Overstock Bedding, a really good name, great name for products. And you can link it to Overstock's affiliate link and just link to the bedding section. Good name. Fast Speed Checker. This was another one that was on our list. 9,000 people a month. But this could be for anything like, um, I don't know, checking your essay, checking your work, checking anything. Could be good. Portraits AI. Um, not sure about it, but portraits, uh, artificial intelligence. Could be good. 13,000 people look for it. Maybe they want their picture drawn artificially. I don't know. Menopausal treatment, 15,900 a month. Uh, wireframe mockups. Anybody that does a website should know what a wireframe mockup is. It's something that I hate to do because I don't like to waste a month sitting around doing wireframe mockups before I actually start to design and build the site. But it's a pretty popular thing that people do. Now we're going to get to some of the better ones. Um, let's go. Uh, personal golf balls. <laughs> This was also one of the names that was in the uh, in the list from the master class. It's free and available. Pets Shed uh, sounds like a good name for a brand for a doghouse or something like that. I thought it was kind of cool. Twenty thousand people a month look for it. Digital web form. Well, everybody fills out a digital web form, so that one's pretty good. Skiing poles. Skiing poles sounds kind of interesting. Thirty-four thousand people look for skiing poles. They probably really want ski poles, but skiing poles still has a lot of traffic. Makeup puffs, um, 40,000 people look for makeup puffs. I don't know what they are, but I know you need them for makeup. Landscape solar lighting, 39,000 people a month. Um, that's a good one. Uh, stretchy rings, um, I don't know what it's for. I don't think it's a jewelry thing, but it could be. could be any kind of stretchy ring. Picking lists, this is good if you wanna sell lists. Uh, if you hook up with a uh, affiliate for selling lists, it could be I don't know, all of the chiropractors in Miami. It could be anything. Could be all of the businesses in the US. Could be anything. Decent name. Pastel shirts, uh, 52,000. Uh, pretty good name. Patents application. Now, normally it'd be a patent application, but I'm okay with patents application here because it's a high end product and it has a lot of traffic. Contact lens impl implants, more of those. Contact lens implants. Checking traffic, that's a pretty good name for a site where you wanna do SEO or you just wanna check traffic on a site. Home writing jobs, pretty good name. Uh, home writing jobs, everyone's working at home these days. A lot of businesses shut down, pretty good name. This one I'm surprised nobody picked up from the master class. Buying smartphone, uh, it could be any kind of review guide or anything for a smartphone. It's got two keywords and it makes sense, buying smartphone. Our services was also a name we looked at before. Um, I think it could be something like my service or anything, something like American Express or somebody would want to use that for ours. Well, our services, maybe not. I don't like the S there. Newest AI, if you want to do a blog on a, the newest AI that's coming out, this would be a home run. Newest AI would be the upcoming trends on AI. Uh, company Rat, 110,000 uh, people uh, posted that. Uh, I'd look for that. I thought it was kind of a funny name until I realized that people would love to post stories about companies online and build you a huge blog or forum with anonymous postings and they'd supply all kinds of emails and stuff. I've seen quite a few of them and ends up that the companies end up buying them out. Uh, so it's a pretty good one. Uh, it sounds kind of funny and nobody's going to forget about a company rat. They'll all remember the website. Finger covers. I don't know what these are. They could be for sewing thimbles. I don't know, but it's got a lot of traffic. Practical nurse program, good one. Professional profile pictures, we talked about the value of that, good one. Style for beard, I'm surprised nobody wanted this. Uh, people always ask for different creams and styles and foams and, and uh, colognes for their beard, so I thought that would be a good one. Cactus men I put in here because I figure a lot of men are just pricks to the ladies they deal with, so cactus pricks, uh, cactus pricks, cactus men sounds like a pretty good name for somebody who's upset with their uh, spouse or ex-spouse. Pet tattoos. I don't know if people get these, but it sounds like a pretty decent name. I'm not sure if you could get into a business with it. A double Big Mac, we can just ignore that one. I don't know how it made it in the list. We can get rid of that. Service terminals. Uh, people have them at all the businesses. A lot of them are terminals that you could use to book your airline stuff, or it could be anything from processing credit cards or anything. Family wedding photos. Great uh, domain name. You could be a photographer and you'd have one of the best domains around. Uh, what is it, 312,000 people look Google family wedding photos. Sanitizing stations, uh, also popular at every store now if you want to sell sanitizing stations. For people that want to travel to Ireland, Irish, Irish traveler, 353,000 results was also on our list that nobody grabbed. Paints for home, 
pretty self-explanatory, 361,000. Residence construction. This is good, I guess, for new home sales and things like that. Anticellulite creams. These sell a lot. There's half a million people that are Googling anticellulite creams. Not sure if they work or not, but people Google them. Stainless kitchen sink, uh, 5 580,000 people. Pretty good name. People like uh, products and sinks sell well. If you sell them, you get a decent commission. Crocs for women, maybe a trademark, but it's got high traffic. Um, a lot of them. Now, if we go to Rose Earrings, over 1.1 million results. It's available now. Um, at first, I thought it was rose-colored earrings, and then I realized, no, dummy, it's pictures of roses as earrings, and then I realized that's what they probably meant. Another domain that we talked about a lot in the other group was bracelets for her. Um, high traffic, 1.8 million people Googling bracelets for her. Definitely a good one. Medium type. Um, this is good for, well, you know what a medium is, so there could be all different types of them. Now, under this, you'll see bracelet for her. So bracelets for her has 1.8 million searches, but bracelet without the S has 8 million searches. So bracelets for her, bracelet for her, two really good names, probably two of you or one of you are each going to get one, but it's a really good name. Uh, let's go to careforinfant.com. Quite a big name, uh, Care for Infant, could be anything on how to care for an inform good information site. Download the store, surprisingly, 73 million results and searches for download the store. Uh, they could be looking for download.com or they could be looking for download the store, which to me would be a really good business if you set up pre-built websites as stores and people would just purchase them and start going right away. That way they download the store and you could do it for anything. You do it for soaps, bath bombs, whatever you want. The stores are already created. We can create hundreds of sites for them. They're already ready and people can go start their uh, e-commerce business right away. That's all folks. That's a pretty big list. Let me export this list so that I have it. And now I have that list as well. So I've got both lists and I will share them with you in the shared folder later. Please tell me what you liked and what you registered. I am waiting for the results as they come in. Dun, 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 dun. Here come the results. What did you guys get? Hmm. We'll wait for a few minutes for those to come in. Um, nothing really to uh, tell you about this week. Nothing exciting, nothing new. Um, I was tied up with the master class all week, um, preparing for it and then actually uh, doing it. Uh, it was pretty interesting. It was uh, a really fun time, exhausting, but a really good group of people. So I really appreciate that, and I thought it was great. Um, we're only going to have, like I said, seven more people come in. Uh, the video is already recorded. The video is only going to be available for people that took the course. And then after that, we're going to see if we can't build some businesses, and we're going to start building some businesses probably early next week as we get going. It's going to be a lot of fun, and uh, we're all going to make some money and nothing to put into it. All right, Mark Becker. I thought that was a good one. Uh, somebody else got patents application. I like that one too. Uh, these are good names. Tom, buying smartphone. I mean, how can you go wrong with buying smartphone at 10 bucks or nine bucks? Also, Rose Earrings. I mean, that is a really good name to build a, uh, a site on and actually sell one specific product, but all kinds of different Rose Earrings. So I think that's a really good name. Joe got newest AI. I'm telling you, this would be this could be one of the best information sites around for artificial intelligence. Everybody's going to Google newest AI or upcoming AI or new trends or things like that. So I think newest AI is a really good um, thing to do. I mean, I would I would Google newest technology, so I would also Google newest AI. Somebody got Facebook uh, Facebook personal golf balls. That's also a good one. Um, somebody else got customized face shield. This name, like these names that I'm giving you, you're bound to make money with them, even if you just post them online anywhere. There are, some of them are really good names. Um, contact lens implants. Yeah, it's a good one. And implanted lens, Bill. If you're, you had eye surgery, LASIK eye surgery, you know about it. Implanted lenses is basically what they do. They basically cut out your lens and they put in a new lens. And it's a pretty darn good one. So I'm glad you guys got that. Dwayne, ordered professional profile pictures, but someone snatched it before my order went through. Sorry, Dwayne, I have to be honest with you there. That was one of the names that I was actually going to snatch up. I did not get it because I decided to let it go to the people. 
And uh, I, like you, Dwayne, have paid the price and will not have professional profile pictures. But that doesn't mean you shouldn't go out and get in your local uh, cctld, like .co.uk or whatever it is, and start going after people that don't have professional uh, profile pictures and then go ahead and, uh, and get them and get them done. Uh, I tell everybody and I told people in the masterclass course that uh, you need to change and get your LinkedIn profile up. Your LinkedIn profile should be a headshot. It should be what you see of me right now. And that should be your professional LinkedIn uh, profile. Dwayne, I did get bracelets for her. Excellent. Really good domain name. I'm glad you got it. Uh, Bill, uh, your son had 10 surgeries. I'm sorry. I hope everything's great. And I hope his eyes are perfect. Uh, I personally have been too afraid to even use a contact lens because I couldn't put my fingers in my eyes. So I'm not a good candidate for eye surgery, although it would work for me. I'm just a big baby. Um, I hope your son's doing well, Bill, and I hope he doesn't need any more eye surgeries, and I hope everything's great with him. Wishing him great health and everything else. Anybody get any other ones that they want to share, or does anybody have any questions about domains or websites or digital marketing that I can answer now? Feel free to post them in the chat group. We are actually ahead of schedule because I didn't want to fill this up with too much stuff, so we're in pretty good shape. I'll have a sip of coffee, wait for your questions, and then if there are none, we'll move on. This could be one of my shortest broadcasts in a while. That's because there's not a lot of fancy stuff in there. Make sure that you add uh, me and other people that you like or know into LinkedIn and increase your uh, reach as far as friends and relationships go. And uh, feel free to add me on Facebook. I can't add you to any private Facebook groups unless we're friends. I found that out when setting up the Masterclass Face group. All right, let's see what we got. Uh, Dwayne did say I got bracelets for her. Uh, what else do we got? Uh, is co.uk a good name? Yes, co.uk is a good name to sell, but not .uk. Um, co.uk was the one that everybody went after. It was the first one in the UK that was available. And then after that, they decided to release .uk and they gave it free to everybody who had a co.uk. So make sure that you um, go after the co.uk and not so much the .uk and you'll get more for it. Mark, I did get cure for migraine the other day. Yeah, that's a good one. Um, you really need to set up probably a ClickBank product or something like that where you can make like 75% profit on an actual cure for a migraine. I would check into that. Let's go to the next one. David Hastings, will be interesting to see which of us uh, GD honors with the name again. Uh, I'm not sure what that is, but maybe you guys are chasing the same name. We will have to see. Anybody have any other questions or comments? Um, somebody picked up, oh, Rod picked up Irish Traveler. I mean, what a great name that is. I was surprised it was even available. Um, great name for any kind of touristy site uh, with Ireland or anything like that. Uh, listen, Peaky Blinders got me really interested in Ireland, and I'm watching something else now. Oh, Son Sons of Anarchy. Oh, what a great show that is. Um, they're also now in Ireland. Uh, I'm at the point where they're, for those of you that have seen it, chasing uh, – Jack's kid to get him back. We've almost got him back, but both those shows are really good, so you guys should uh, pay attention to those. But no, nothing beats uh, Money Heist and Peaky Blinders in my eyes. In this UK, we say .co.uk, never the letters C-A-U-K. That's true. That's true, so that tells you that .co.uk is uh, the way to go. Thanks, Ian, for that. And I know it's midnight. I appreciate you staying up late. I hope, Ian, you got some great domain names, and I will definitely have Chuck reach out to you about getting the software set up for you this week. Um, anybody else have any questions before we sign off? We're only 43 minutes in. I have more time, but we're in good shape because we went through the list. Lots of domain names. I think there were 90 that are dropping tomorrow and about 65 on this list. Uh, as soon as we're done here, I will upload them into the shared folder on um, – Google Drive. And if you don't have access to it, please send me a Facebook link saying, I want the access to the shared Google Drive for the art of the name, and I will give it to you. Um, you'll find a whole bunch of stuff in there, including these names. I think we're at the end of it. Um, let's see what we got over here. Rick, bracelet for her. Okay, so we got bracelet for her and bracelets for her. You guys can build a pretty big site on that and have some fun. Uh, other than that, I wish you guys extreme uh, luck in your drops tomorrow. Hopefully, you're not competing against each other. Hopefully, you guys end up with some of the names you get and uh, 
I have a feeling some of you like me to go through these names pretty much every day, but just can't do it. Uh, good luck getting all your names. Good luck with the uh, available names and good luck getting the drops after they drop so you can get them at a reg fee instead of paying full price. Try to get them at save.com, sav.com because it's only $7.95 as opposed to a lot of the other drop catches that are $50 or $60. Thank you very much. I hope you guys have a great night and uh, appreciate your uh, staying up and watching the video tonight at 7. Take care and uh, that's all folks.